Yeah, it was, it, look, it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. And uh, I suppose the message that I gave the players afterwards is sometimes you've got to win ugly, you know. And uh, let's not forget, a year ago we lost to that Free State side. Um, they got a, you know, a kick through and a, you know, and a intercept, I think. And it was basically almost a bit of a rerun of what we expected they were going to do this this time. So it wasn't ideal. And and you know, there are obviously things that we didn't get right, but. Anyone's involved in rugby will tell you that sometimes you play badly and you win. You get a lot out of that as well. Yeah, well, that's exactly it. I think I, I mean, you can't get hard on them. I mean, they, it's week in and week out. They step up to the plate. You know, I think one of the things you would appreciate when you're winning, everyone wants to knock you over. You know, there's no doubt that the Free State would have spoken about the fact that if they got a win, yeah, that would be one of the highlights of their campaign so far. To you know, to knock over the team that's on top. So that that comes with a territory. And we spoke about it. You know that. Uh, don't underestimate the fact that every team you're going to play against now wants to make sure that you're the team they knocked over. You know, I think it's time for change. I think it's time to get some fresh guys in. I think it's uh, there's subtle changes we need to make. I mean, I'm the first to admit that our game looked a bit stale, but then I also need time to reflect. And I'm thinking that new ten, you know, new combination, you know, short turnaround this week is it the right time to make all those changes. So, you know, I mean, it, as much as it might be needed, you just got to be mindful of the fact that if you only got five days to prepare, the last thing you want to do now is make six, seven changes and give a team that's just had a bye, uh, as in the Highlanders, who've had a bye this weekend and obviously came to South Africa a bit early. You don't want to be giving them, you know, a leg up based on the fact that you haven't picked the right team. I wouldn't because I think that there's no correlation between how the box play and how the Super Rugby teams do. I mean, the most successful times we've had winning Tri-Nations tournaments and, and are years when our Super Rugby sides have failed. And the reason for that is they get more time off, they get more time to prepare. Uh, you know, when the semi-finals and finals are on, you get more players to be able to start working with as a squad. So, I mean, whatever whatever, whatever psychologically he is now thinking that he might lose because the players are getting bashed, there's obviously a massive physical bonus that he has as well. So there's no... There's no direct correlation to the fact that if everyone's at the bottom of the log, that necessarily means our Springbok side's going to be poor. Yes, um, we're not we're not close to the way we we, we attacked yes, uh, last year. You know, for some reason, and like I've said, I, I think a, a few of our crucial of, of our of our better back backline players lost a little bit of confidence and. Um, we need to, to play more direct. Uh, we need to get momentum first, and then and then try and play it wide. Uh, but um, on attack, uh, there's there's, a, there's hard work um, going forward. But um, like I've said, I thought our defence was outstanding. No, it is tough. Um, but uh, in saying that, it's a tough competition. You know, everybody is under pressure. Um, the lock is so close and. I said to the guys before the game, if we can win this this one, we're on 13 points. Um, uh, the Bulls what is on on 19 points and uh, they're still in the run. So uh, this was a crucial game for us to win. So uh, I think everybody's under pressure in this competition. Uh, I think we showed today and in the past all other teams showed that the, the, the teams at the bottom of the log can beat the team team on 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 top of the log. So it's a it's a tough competition, but. Um, we have to, uh, you know, be positive and take it week by week. Um, we play the Stormers next week in in Bloemfontein, and um, you know, once you get that first or second win, then you you, you get into a, a winning habit. We need to win three or four games on the trot. Um, uh, you know, we we need to get the confidence back.